Welcome back to the Stu Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. We're here on a late night record because we've completely run out of time this weekend because matches ended Sunday night and they are kicking off Tuesday midday. It just creeps up on you. It's Why so a double fast. match week? Is it because of the World uh, Cup? It's because of the World Cup. We're going to be getting a few of these. And, uh, you know, Champions League, Europa League hasn't started yet. So they're smashing in as many matches as sure. possible, which is going to be something very interesting to see. I know uh, a lot of managers have already said players like Holland are going to be rested. We could see Mo Salah being rested. We could see people... Um, you know, some of these these key figures being rested in these midweek matches or in the weekend right. matches. But well, I'm um, sure so it's something to look out like, for for fantasy. I'm sure at some point your Tuchels and Klops are going to comp- complain about how congested the schedule has become. And, you know, we're, we're, we're playing for the for for Champions League and it's just too many matches. Just too many matches. One hundred percent, Mark. One hundred percent. You know that's going to happen. Um, but we have a lot of matches to get to, so um, we're going to get to those, Mark. But I do have. I did invite extra people onto the show because I knew we were going to be in a rush. So why not add more fuel to the fire? So let's bring on our special guest today. We have Gary from Don't Waste the Tweet, and we also have Mr. Tom, who you may have seen on On the Stoops Friday Night Happy Hour. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Tom? Gary, how are you guys? Doing good. Doing well. Greetings. Your your show Greetings. wasn't long enough today? <laughs> we, get, we get in our 90 minutes, everybody's happy, and we move on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, when, when, the last time I watched, there was no 90 minutes. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. Well, you know, it depends. Right. <laughs> um, and if you don't know what they're talking about, that's because you're not checking out the trip with Gary down here. It's Gary's show called The Trip. Mr. Tom is constantly on there. Even Mark and I get invited on from time to time when when we have the time to be on there. But um, we're very glad to have you guys here. So let's get to it, guys. Um, you know, I'm kind of in charge right now, so I'm going to say let's talk about Arsenal. If you like it or not, Wolves fan and Leeds fan, I know Gary and I want to talk about it. But sitting at the top of the table, we are undefeated. We are not only are we undefeated we are under uh what 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 is it Un, underdrawed we are underdrawed as well undefeated. you know and i gotta hand There's it, not a I gotta word hand for it. That. you know you can make up all the words you want because you guys have played and i gotta hand it to you because you guys have played the powerhouses of the division it is really absolutely have. outstanding we really how, have. how how you have taken the cream of the crop and just destroyed them. Absolutely. Um, you know, unlike Wolves who have had a very cush schedule. Um, oh, we and... have we've had a cush schedule. Oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. Oh my god, don't get me started. Mark, you gotta beat the teams that are put in front of you. You know, you gotta you put the te- abs- beat the teams abs- that are put in front of you. Absolutely correct, but um but I just don't understand these Arsenal fans that are just crowing right now when they have played absolutely no one. Absolutely. Let me ask you, uh, I don't Mr. think Tom, people would say Crystal Palace is nothing, right? Yeah, They're in the bottom half Crystal of the Palace. table. No, I don't think people would say that that was a poor team. You're absolutely right. I was actually thinking Liverpool's about that in the bottom half of the I, table. I, I, as well, I, I was okay? actually thinking about Oops. that today, and and I, I was thinking that it's like you know maybe it's not fair for me to say that you haven't played anybody. Uh, but um, as as Mr. Tom pointed out a few weeks ago, uh, the scheduling gods have been quite forgiving for you to start this season off. Well, I mean, look at that. Have they been forgiving to Liverpool? Because Liverpool had uh, two of the same teams that we played. Talk in Arsenal. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're talking, I'm talking competition. Arsenal, I'm talking, you're talking Arsenal and your schedule. You're talking the entire league. Uh, We're anyway, talking about two, so you two can call, one, no, Mark, two one by you, the Arsenal. Mark, no, 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 no. Don't, don't switch this up. You can say what you want, but Fulham is not zero and four. Palace is not zero and four. Bournemouth is can, not even zero and four. You can polish Lester that turd really as well is not as very you good. Want, you're still not going to get a shine on it. You know hey, what the shine if we, is? If we, if we don't win the these matches, the shine is 12 points. Yeah, guess what? If we don't win these matches, points. everybody's laughing at us. When exactly. we do win it, oh, we're supposed to. So stop there. acting like this is expected. 
No, I, I find reasons to laugh at Arsenal. Find Just other not, reasons please. to laugh at Arsenal. Feel free, please. But don't don't say this. Oh, you haven't beaten anybody. We have beaten have four it. Premier League teams. What is okay, the best yeah. league in the world? Truth. Truth. The Premier League. But, but you're not exactly playing the best of it the Premier League. It doesn't matter because we've seen teams it, struggle it does with matter. everybody in the table. Everybody does, has struggled. I, I and totally everybody... understand. Every, and everyone plays the teams and blah, blah, blah. But... Mr. Tom, if 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 your schedule, you know, how many points would you have if you played Bournemouth, Fulham, Leicester, and Crystal Palace? How many points would you have? Two. Currently, uh, two. Currently, I you would. Have I four. would expect. Currently, I would you have seven. Seven. I would. I'd expect seven from that realistically. Yeah. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. And Wolves, how much would you expect to have from that? What would you expect? Michael? I certainly, We're I anxious. do expect to beat Bournemouth. Uh, we did draw against against Fulham, and then we played Leeds at home. Very, very tough to play Leeds there. You all admit, in fact, uh, Lolo, you said yourself that Arsenal expects to sweep the table except for Leeds. You said that yourself. Yeah, because I know where my bread is buttered, and I called it two draws. Uh, <laughs> I said we buttered, will win 36 buttered matches. Buttered right between your arse and your balls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't even so, want to know why you even brought that up, why you know, <laughs> and why Lolo did not go. No, 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 no I don't know what you're talking very about. Very simply like, to get that look on your face. You pick your just... battles with Mark. You pick your battles. <laughs> um, Gary, let me ask you as I an have Arsenal no filter. fan. You can, you uh, can tell I've been you. on more Fridays than Mondays because I just sat there as casual as anything during that. I was like, this is what I usually too. I, was, I, I don't know. That was, ugh. <laughs> My hand, Gary, uh, yes, sir. 2 1 Fulham. Yes. We were down. We were even at halftime. We go down in the second half. We find a way to come back to win. How did you feel about that match? Um, and, and let me leave it at that. How did you feel about that match? I liked how we came back, and we did not look like a deer in the headlights when we got, got down a goal, even though we created basically the goal for them. I mean, we basically just handed it to them and said, here you go. And the way we were playing in the first half, I think that's probably the reason why we weren't too concerned going down a goal. And also, this is essentially the second time one of our defenders and our center backs has kind of laid, laid the ball out there and put it in, the, you know, essentially almost rolled it in, but... I think this is the change in the squad this year, right? And I don't know if it's just natural progression or if it's actually the fact that we have brought in some players that, nah, you know what? It doesn't matter. There's still time on the clock. This match is not over. It doesn't matter if they score two on us. It doesn't matter. We still have something. That's what we want to see. We've lacked that sort of leadership and that kind of uh, backbone. We haven't had that in a while, right? And so I'm liking it. So, We've shown that we can come back after a team scores twice on us. It doesn't matter. We will continue to, to press, and we did that. Didn't give up because that first half was a little disappointing that we did not score. I mean, you can't – and I know stats aren't everything, but you have to ball that many times. And if you look at the stats for the entire game, we had as many – we had double the amount of shots that they did. So we have to – you're supposed to win those, all right? You're supposed to win those. Uh, we've got – we've been scored on three times this season. That's one of the lowest, I think, in the in the, in the league, and two yeah, and of them two, were two of those were we created, you know, yeah. so, we created so, those yeah. chances. So we put ourselves in uh, problems by two of the goals, but nonetheless, we've uh, I think we played really well. Uh, and well, Erdogan has played. And the, I'm going to say Erdogan has finally decided. You know what? I'm going to have to put it, take this team, put this team on my back, and he can do it, and he needs to do absolutely. a lot more of it. We need more of that. Because he can do it. He's shown us just, Absolutely. and now I always say, just shoot. Yeah. You just shot, and guess what? You're like, sometimes Something happens. goes your way. Little deflection, little deflection, right? and, as long and as it goes in. Because I, I, I do have to say, Leno was going the right way. He was going the right way for that shot, and he probably saves that shot, and the deflection sent it to the other corner. So I wouldn't call it an own goal because it was on target. Good, but I felt like Leno. Leno had the jump. He was going to the right spot, um, and Leno was having a fucking uh, game as well. Um, yeah, but here, here's really the well. thing: where 
where you can talk shit about uh, it's only Fulham, it's only Fulham, newly promoted, blah, 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 blah. I don't care who it is. When you go down in the second half and you find a way to come back and win, it's it's massive. It's massive. Um, look, look at the way uh, Manchester City was cheering beating Crystal Palace, which is like you shouldn't be... Same thing. You shouldn't be like so excited that you beat Crystal Palace, but they were getting smoked. Not that we were getting smoked, but I'm just saying the emotion and the buildup, why that fourth win mattered so much is because we easily could have gone, all right, we got the draw. Let's let's be done. Uh, let's just get out of here. This is not a, not our best day, but we found a way uh, to, to come back and, and win that. That, to me, is a different arsenal that's a different arsenal team and that is why i'm so excited right now is because the way we've won these matches the way we've responded when things didn't go perfect bournemouth i'm not impressed by that victory especially seeing liverpool put nine on them you know i'm like yeah that's what we're supposed to be doing but when things don't go well when saliba hits an own goal we score two minutes later when Gabriel, when really Saka makes the huge mistake and lofts the ball over to Gabriel, and then Gabriel has nobody to go to and and has a brain fart, it was it was less than ten minutes later we had we had leveled. So those are the reactions that I've been looking for for years from this Arsenal squad. So and now uh, you guys, non Arsenal fans, what did you guys make of this two one win for Arsenal, Mister Top? Um, well, uh, firstly, I'd like to say, in fairness to Arsenal, um, you can only beat who's put in front of you, and you've managed to beat literally everyone that's put in front of you thus far. So, that's that. And um, you will be sternly tested, and we will see what happens when that happens. Um, I, I was saying this on, on Gary's show, uh, which was filmed just before this one, Um I felt Fulham looked good for a draw until they scored, which sounds absurd as a sentence, but it was the footballing equivalent of punching a dragon in the face because then it's going to bite you. And or if you're lucky, it'll bite you. And if you're unlucky, it'll, it'll set you on fire. And uh, that's sort of what happened, basically, because they, I'm not going to say Fulham were looking like they were, obviously they weren't dominating the game, but, they were reasonably comfortable for a promoted side at a top six grand, let's say. And then they, they scored, which obviously there's no, not going to say you shouldn't have, but it then lit a fire under Arsenal's arse and uh, they didn't get anything out of it ultimately. And uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> well, look, I know I give Arsenal a lot of shit for not playing anybody, and it's just fun to do because you haven't. But but there's a number of things that I will sit here and say uh, that you guys will be very happy about. Uh, one is, is that I think that this win for Arsenal showed a, a great deal of character. Uh, one, like Lolo has said, that hasn't been seen, at least in the time that I've watched it. I've said it before this season. I've said it many times last year. A mistake by by Gabrielle, which is something that you can almost count on. Um, uh, from time to time, he he he's good yeah. for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good yeah. for those. And 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 to see the same thing that happened with Saliba, to see the um, to see the hey man, you know Ramsdale comes up, puts his arms around him, shake it off, go get it back. Um, I think what you saw, or at least what I saw, is I saw a team that in, in Fulham that was very physical. Uh, and I don't think that Arsenal responds well to playing physical, that those kind of iffy tackles that they're not getting calls from, they're still throwing their arms up in the air. They're kind of lingering on the pitch on, on their knees, wondering what happened. Um, but, but what I did see was, was Arsenal in the second half go, we we don't play a physical game. We play fast and let's we're faster than Fulham. So let's turn on the burners 
and things were working very, very well for you guys. Um, so, uh, and and luckily at the end, you guys found an answer for what's his name, Mitrovic, Mitrovic, Mitrovic. Um, you guys found because he was he was getting his like how he didn't have more than one goal uh, was was beyond me. But but you know, look if. If, if, if this is if, if this is the new Arsenal, you, you you saw you saw a a yet another stage toward or another step toward uh, maturity. Good win for you guys. Good good yeah. way to slug it out because you haven't had to slug it out yet. Yep. Yep. Right. Um, can I add? One you more see, thing I can say something this. nice and mean it. Yeah, Tom. Um, yeah, uh, Mark sort of uh, got me thinking of this. I thought it was quite important, or it showed a lot. Let's say the word Mark used was character, that a player, a defender, essentially, to put it uh, less politely, fucked up. But then he turned around and went, you know what? I'm personally going to make this right. And he did. Yeah. That's and it. that's fantastic. That that to to us is like so fantastic. But but even more so, his words after the match were, "I had my head down, I had my head down." Then my brothers, the words he used, my brothers came to me, and told me to pick my head up and keep going. That that's the Arsenal, as opposed to you know Shaka oh, coming he, over he, and yelling he, he, at he him. Said that. Yeah, he said, my brothers came over to me oh. and told me to pick my head up and keep going. Um, and oh, and his, English, is, his English isn't fantastic. So hearing him say that, you could feel the emotion. And Ramsdale even talked about it of like, you know, Gabby's, G Gabriel's English isn't perfect. It's gotten better. But the way we show him what we mean is by our is by our actions and we all went over and got in his face like let's go fuck it you know go get it back let's that, go get it yeah. back and that team that team that team unity we didn't see because i always go back to the match where leno was trying to clear the ball and and basically kicked it off of versus wood hip and it goes in for a goal and he was just standing there nobody walked to him everybody nobody like walked this. They were just so upset that we had just got we had just essentially yeah. given up a goal, and we don't do that anymore. It doesn't matter. The crowd definitely doesn't do that anymore. They don't have time for that. We know we know what? we got to get on this team's back, even when something doesn't go our way. And that that's what you know that's what Arteta has been saying all along. Some most of us haven't believed what he's talking about. He wants the fans back on his side. He wants his players to play a certain way. We're seeing it. We need. We're gonna see. We're gonna. They're gonna get tested, and we're gonna hopefully see it then too. But no, that that's what we have. And you saw that. You saw that when you know when Saliba scored. Everybody knew what he was trying to do. It just didn't didn't mm -hmm. work out. We it backfired on us, and it didn't matter. You know, yeah. and I think to some degree that's what Jesus has brought to the table. Jesus and Chanko, I think towards those two definitely know that. And you've seen it. We're seeing it now. City doesn't matter. It does not matter what the score is, what the time on the clock is, and uh, we want some of that as well. Yeah. yeah. Can I can I ask a question uh, about uh, about Z? Is he out yeah. for? Is, like I know he he missed that not game, sure. but is it? What do we know the nature of the injury? Because there was definitely there was there, a big his, difference. One's a knee, one's a thigh, and I can't remember which player it is. And well, my supposedly... guess is with with Partey, it's the knee because he's had problems with that for two I years. I mean, seeing Zinchenko on the side of the pitch and running onto the field when we scored, Tells and you, like yeah, uh, basically headlocking Gabriel, mm -hmm. and like so it kind of means, that means it's not he's okay. Too he's, he's okay. And he's you know okay. what? That's actually a good sign in the yeah, sense no, that it's, pre it's precautionary, meaning you know what. Yeah. We don't need yeah. to play you, as opposed to we have no choice, right? Partey has yeah. to play last year. You remember we Arteta don't... pushing Partey back yeah. on the pitch? I, I do remember His that. First game pretty, or something. It's pretty painful <laughs> to watch that one. He does not oh. have to play. That's where you want to be, right? You don't want to be. Absolutely. You know what? Yeah. We have a game on the weekend. If you're, if we, if I give you an extra day off, get out. You, you just be ready for Sunday. You know, Saturday, I think it's Saturday or Sunday whenever we play, yeah. so yeah.